thankful to be able to uh, join together and celebrate our Catholic identity. We also welcome Mr. John Nuttall, Director of School Development Services from Townsville Catholic Education, as well as members of the Burdekin Group of Parishes, families and friends. Catholic Education Week is an annual statewide event that promotes the distinct mission of Catholic schools throughout Queensland. The week of the 25th to the 31st of July is celebrated by all schools through a range of liturgies, events and activities. We look to the past to the founders of our religious orders who established our schools and infused them with the charism that makes them special. The life and vision of our founders encouraged others to follow their mission in life, to be like Jesus and bring God's love to everybody they served. Building it on our, our strong Catholic tradition, the theme for Catholic Education Week this year is communities of faith, hope and love, which encourages us to have faith, hope and love in the future of Catholic schooling for our students and their families, our church family. I'd now ask Charlie Carter and Harris Lemon, our BCHS Indigenous student representatives, to lead us in our acknowledgement of country. Guatemala. I bring this acknowledgement of country in a spirit of reconciliation with the peoples of the Baragaba Nation and out of respect for the partnership being forged between Burdekin Catholic High School and traditional owners. We gather on the traditional country of the Juru and Bindal peoples. Our, our journeys have drawn us from near and far, traveling across Bindal country to the north and through Juru country to the south. I pay respect for the elders, past, present and emerging, for they are the keepers of memories, traditions, stories and culture. They hold, they hold the hopes for unity in future. I also recognize the contribution of the Torres Strait Islanders and the South Sea Islander peoples in founding of the Burdekin, its industries and community. Let us be mindful as we gather together that each of us also brings its own presence, story and culture to rest for time on this country. Thank you. Let us please now stand as we begin our celebration and join in with the opening hymn, Come Together. Gather, shall we make the sign of the cross together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, St. Colmans. Good, <laughs> Good morning, St. Francis. <laughs> Good morning, BCHS. It's a beautiful day. What a lovely day to have St. Francis, St. Colmans, and BCHS together. It is a day of celebration in the Burdigan because you are the people of Burdigan. We are together here. We are together in the name of Jesus. We are together remembering the people who lived before us, especially the founders who established the beautiful schools, St. Coleman's and St. Francis and BCH's lovely schools. You are blessed to be studying at these schools. Shall we now pause for a moment and what do we do in silence? We acknowledge our failures. We've done naughty things sometimes, displeasing to God, things that may have offended your parents, your siblings, your friends, your teachers, your aides. So we are asking God's forgiveness. Once he forgives us, we are free. And so that is why we pray. Lord Jesus, you call us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. You teach us to listen to your words. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You challenge us to serve others with a generous spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. And again, we pause. We pause for so that we remember our intentions at this moment. We pray especially through the intercession of our founders, the saintly people, the Marist brothers. We remember the good Samaritan sisters, the, the sisters of mercy, and all those who worked for us. We pray through their intercession for our families, for yourselves, for your teachers and your aides, all your plans, some of us are unwell. We pray for all of them at this Eucharist. O oh Lord God, our Father, God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant through prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Now let's listen to the scripture readings. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, say this word to the people. Tears flood my eyes night and day, unceasingly since a crushing blow falls on the daughter of my people, a most grievous injury. If I go into the countryside, there lie men killed by the sword. If I go into the city, I see people sick with hunger. Even prophets and priests plough the land. They are at their wit's end. Have you rejected Judah altogether? Does your very soul revolt at Zion? Why have you struck us down without hope of cure? We were hoping for peace. No good came of it. For the moment of cure, nothing but terror. 
Lord, we do confess our wickedness and our father's guilt. We have indeed sinned against you. For your name's sake, do not reject us. Do not dishonor the throne of your glory. Remember us. Do not break your covenant for us. Can any of the pagan nothings make it rain? Can the heavens produce showers? No. It is you, Lord. O our God, you are our hope, since it is you who do all this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, for the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, Lord, deliver us. Do not hold the guilt of our fathers against us. Let your compassion hasten to meet us, for we are in the depths of distress. Response? Say it together. Lord. O God, our Saviour, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O Lord, our God, forgive us our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. Response? Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. Let your strong arm reprive those who condemn to die. But we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give you thanks forever and ever. We will tell you to praise from age to age. Response? For the glory of your name, Lord. Please stand to welcome the gospel. And sing the song loud and all of you, okay? All of you know this hymn. Together. Alleluia. Good. Great. Alleluia. Beautiful. Alleluia. Alleluia. Louder. Listen, people, to God's word. Open up your hearts now. The Spirit brings God's message here. Listen to God's word. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let me play that again. Play that again, please. Listen to God's word. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Leaving the crowds, Jesus went to the house and his disciples came to him and said, Explain the parable about the darnel in the field to us. He said in reply, The sower of the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subjects of the kingdom, the darnel, the devil, the subjects of the evil one. The harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the darnel is gathered up and burnt in the fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all things and provoke offenses and all who do evil and throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the virtuous will shine 
like the son in the kingdom of their father. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Beautiful. Please be seated. Once again, St. Francis, good morning. Thank you. Good morning, St. Colmans. Good morning, BCHS. Wonderful. Is everyone okay? Everyone happy? Isn't that a beautiful hall? Lovely hall. Beautiful. You feeling good? You feeling hot or cold? Feeling okay. Good boys. Good, good. Thank you for that. Now, I'm going to show you a magic. How many of you like to see a magic? Put your hands up. All right. All right. Okay. Now, I've got, see, I was really going to show you. Didn't think, did you? I've got a few pieces of clothes here, all right? Can you see the colors? How many colors? Green, yellow, and red, okay. So that's green, that's red, yellow, and another piece of red. Now, that green is for St. Colman's. You like green color? Beautiful. And red for St. Francis. Brilliant. Look at that. Wow, lovely. Hey. And BCH is yellow. You happy with that? No. <laughs> so there you go. Three colors. Are they beautiful colors? You like the colors, did you? Green. Green for St. Colman's. And red for St. Francis. And yellow for BCHs. And uh, an extra piece of red cloth here. Now, we're also here to celebrate a theme for the Catholic Education Week. What is the theme for, the, for this week? Who can tell me the, the theme for the week? Tell me. Communities of faith, hope, and love. Lovely. There you go. So that's faith, hope, and love. Okay? And I'm going to put Jesus, an extra piece of red. Can you see Jesus wounded? Can you see me? <laughs> A wounded person, a crucified person, and I'm going to mix with this faith, hope, and love. I'm mixing Jesus with three schools, actually. I'm asking Jesus to be with St. Colman's, St. Francis, and B.C.H. So now, he is equally, he's equally covering all three of you, protecting you. That is what actually the founders did. The founders who established the schools did. They always covered their institutes with Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ, with the faith in Jesus Christ. And that is why they have been able to establish all these schools. Now, I'm going to tie them up together. Can you see me? Have I done anything mischief here? Do you doubt me? No, even if you doubt me, don't doubt my magic, okay? <laughs> Now, I'm going to mix them up. I tied them together, and I'm going to mix them up. The, the, you can ask me if I'm doing anything wrong here. St. Colman's are watching me closely. Now, I'm going to mix them up like this, like mixing faith, hope, and love. And what are our schools? St. Colman's, St. Francis, and B.C. Hedges. We mix them up together, and all three colors. There you go. Oh, beautiful! Look at that! 
it? Good ball, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good ball. See? There we are. See? So, you had St. Colman's, you had St. Francis, you also had BCHs. Individually, they looked good, didn't they? Looked, each of the colors looked very good. Green was good, yeah, red was good, and yellow was good. But when they came together, that's when it became beautiful, wasn't it? Green by itself, no good, is it good? Red by itself, good. BCHS by itself, good. But when we come together, this is beautiful, beautiful. I wish you were able to look at yourself from here, you know. See the smiles on your faces. The teachers, the aides, the parents. And also, some people have faith. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, some people have deep faith. They know what is the Eucharist. They know in few minutes time, on the altar, Jesus is going to come alive. That is our faith. With his body and blood, with his eyes and ears, he's once again going to be here. That is the Eucharist. That is what we believe in. And as Catholic schools, that is our primary thing to believe, the Eucharist. And in all our schools, you know, whenever I go to St. Colman's or Francis or BCHS, you guys prepare yourselves very well for the Eucharist. And I appreciate that. I request you to keep that up. But faith alone is not enough. We have to have hope. Faith is that God is with me. God can do wonderful things in me. But what is hope? Hope is that, that God will also work miracles in my life. With God, everything is possible. And what is love? That God is asking me to love everyone, to be charitable. So faith does not end there at the altar. It has to get mixed with hope and love. Like this, you see? That's when our life becomes beautiful. Our founders, the Mars brothers, wonderful men, the wonderful women of the Sisters of Mercy, the, Samar the Good Samaritan Sisters, they had strong faith in Jesus Christ. Do you remember year 10? How many of you are there year 10 who attended my class? Year 10, there you are. Good boys and girls, they attended that career education classes, and I was there sharing my life. And what makes me here, leaving India, and to come here is my deep faith in the, in the Eucharist, knowing that Jesus is alive. That is why I'm here. You think a young man will leave his country, his friends, his family for no reason? That's my faith. My hope is also that my life here will produce fruit in the lives of you, in the life of my parishioners, and that I'll be able to share my love with all of you. So I encourage you to be men and women, girls and boys of great faith, that Jesus is with you, Jesus is alive. Jesus is not a Spider-Man. Jesus is not a, a, a man of the history. He's alive now. And be hopeful and loving. And may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's now watch a, pop, uh, a few video clippings from uh, schools, shall we? Come live our story, come sing our song at St. Coleman's, come and belong. 
Live life to the full, learn and love always. Come and find strength in our faith. We live our story, we share the song. Our song of faith, together we're strong. Though many parts, one body we are. All one in this family of God. Come live our story, come sing our song. At St. Coleman's, come and belong. Live life to the full, learn and love always. Come and find strength in our faith. Here all are welcome, we live in peace. Building Christ's spirit, building God's dream. Lifting each other, we all rejoice. Giving thanks with heart and voice. Come live our story, come sing our song. At St. Coleman's, come and belong. Live life to the full, learn and love always. Come and find strength in our faith. Jesus said, live life to the full. And in its fullness we follow his call. Reach out in mercy wherever you go. Then Christ's fullness you'll know. Come live our story, come sing our song at St. Coleman's, come and belong. Live life to the full, let it love always. Come and find strength in our faith. With faith in our God, with thanks in our heart, this cross calls us forward wherever we are. Here with our God, we walk hand in hand. In faith, together we stand. Come live our story, come sing our song. At St. Coleman's, come and belong. Live life to the full, learn and love always. Come and find strength in our faith. Thank you. One faith, one hope, one love within us all. One dream, one land, one holy family. Who is the love? Of our God, with Jesus in our hearts, one Holy Spirit, one Holy Trinity, our God of love has called us here, together to this holy place, called by our name to be people of faith. To live in God's love all our days. One faith, one hope, one love within us all. One dream, one land, one holy family. With the love of our God, with Jesus in our hearts, one Holy Spirit, one holy. A light that shines, shines for us all. We are called to give hope, to reach out in love. Hand in hand we follow the call. One faith, one hope, one love within us all. One dream, one life.
Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. clap to all the three schools together. Let's put our hands together for all of you. Wonderful. Well done. Let's all now stand for the prayer of the faithful, shall we? Who's now going to help me with the prayers of the faithful? Please come forward.
Thank you. God of love, we come with open hearts as we place our prayers before you. I'll help you. Come here with me, please. That's all yours. There you go. You got to do the first one, this one. For the leaders of our church, especially Pope Francis, Tim, our bishop, and all bishops, priests, and religious, may they listen to the needs of those whom they guide. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations of our world, especially the people suffering from the destruction of war, may they come to know the true peace and be delivered from all turmoil. Lord, hear us. Together. Lord, hear our prayer. Beautiful. For all children, young people, and staff in our Catholic kindergartens, schools, universities, and offices, may they be empowered to be models of faith, hope, and love. Lord, hear us. Together. Lord, hear our prayer. Beautiful. For all who were nominated to receive Catholic Education Week Awards, may they continue to be models of faith, hope, and love their communities. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal needs, knowing that Jesus is alive, he is in the midst of us, he loves you, especially dear children. Jesus loves the little ones. So pray for your parents, your schools. Loving God, hear our words and listen to our hearts. Be with us now as we pray in silence to you. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sing it louder, okay? Louder than. Come to the table, come to the feast. That's not enough. Come to the table of the Lord. Bringing gifts of bread and wine, come with open hearts. Come to the table of the Lord. Bread that we bring and offer now to you. It will become your body and will our hearts renew. We offer this gift of bread with true and humble hearts. With all that we bring, all that we are. Come to the table. table of the Lord, this wine that we bring and offer now to you, it will become your blood, it will our hearts renew, we offer this gift of wine with true and humble hearts, with all that we bring, all that we are. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for it. From the spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of, your, of our homage and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessings which he promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. God, our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. With Jesus, we sing your praise. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Because you love us, you gave us this great and beautiful world. With Jesus, we sing your praise. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Because you love us, you sent Jesus, your Son, to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of one family. With Jesus, we sing your praise. Glory to God in the highest. For such great love, we thank you with the angels and saints as they praise you and sing. Let me clap our hands and sing. Holy, holy. holy. Wonderful. Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us all unhappy. 
He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always so that we can live as your children. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. God our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus your son showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Jesus has given his life for us. Jesus has given his life for us. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus has given his life for us. Jesus has given his life for us. Then he said to them, do this in memory of me. Let us now proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come again. Until you come again. So, loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. Together, we praise you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Lord our God, listen to our prayers. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May this, may this Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the church with Francis our Pope, Tim our Bishop, all other bishops and all who serve your people. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Remember, Father, our family, our friends, and all those we do not love as we should. Remember those who have died. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Gather us all together into your kingdom there. We shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother. They are all the friends of Jesus, the founders. With Jesus, the Lord will sing a song of joy. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen.
Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, in our schools, in our homes, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace, everyone. Let's sing it together, shall we? Sing it loud. Love of God, you take Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We are God's hands, we are God's eyes, we are the love, the heart of Christ, oh Spirit.
out to those who've come across our seas to find a hope. May we reach out across the seas to touch the poor. Be God's mercy. We are God's hands. Dream time from the bush or by the sea. We come from a thousand city streets. We are the rich and lowly. We are the poor and strong. We come to share this moment. Gathering here, singing one song. With our hearts on fire. 
Those of you who received the Holy Eucharist for a moment, consciously say to yourself, it is Jesus who has come into your heart. It is the body, it is the life of Jesus. He can heal you, he can strengthen you, and he's ever ready to walk with you. Say to yourself that I am in the presence of God. God is in me at this moment. It is the Eucharist, the love of God that has come into you, becoming part of you, God becoming one with you. What an amazing thing happening in you at this moment. Ask God to come into all your anxieties, all your disabilities, all your moments of helplessness. Ask the Lord to strengthen you, give you good health, good memory, ask the Lord to show you the right path in your life. O oh God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread that you give to your children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We stand for the final blessing. Before that, I would like to appreciate the three schools for organizing this Founders Day. Wonderful, well done to all of you. Especially, I would like to thank the principals, the aides, the teachers, you te students, your leaders, all those who took part in this Holy Eucharist. We have lovely people from our parishes, from the Vatican parishes. Thank you for your presence this morning. 
Let's give a big round of applause to each other for, for this bright day, beautiful day. And a big clap to Jesus who brought us all together. A big clap. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. My God, whose spirit renews our hearts, continue to inspire us to go out into the world as the hope, the now, and the light of Christ. Amen. My God, source of all goodness, Show us how to bring the gifts of grace and healing to our troubled world. Together, amen. May God, the heart of our faith-filled communities, continue to inspire us to share all that we have in love as we journey together as communities of faith, hope, and love. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to use the gifts God has given us to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to you. We are called to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine, shine, shine like the stars above. We are called to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine, shine, shine be a light above. Jesus is a light, a light for all the world. His light it shines in the fire of his words. A light of love for all the world to see. A shining star, a call for you and me. We are called to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine. Call to shine, shine, shine. 